Hi, my name's Rich Turner, lead developer at Open Remote. This video today, we're going to walk through the concept of uh, white labeling uh, your Open Remote installation. Uh, for anyone that doesn't understand, that's the process of uh, essentially adding your own uh, styling, so your own logo, your own title, etc., uh, to the the base system. Uh, for, for this example today, we're going to use a fictional company based in Switzerland. Uh, with the name of uh, Geneva Grapes. Uh, we'll walk through adding logos, changing colors, and modifying the map, and also the center location as well of the map. Um, all steps that we'll go through in this video, you can uh, follow um, along in our uh, GitHub Wiki pages. You'll also find links to the relevant parts uh, of the Wiki uh, in the description below the video. Um, and also, if you have any further questions, you can obviously put them on our, our forum. We'll be happy to help. So let's get started by following the quick start guide in the wiki. Prerequisite here is that you need Docker desktop installed. I already have it installed on this machine, so let's go ahead and start it. And while that's loading, we'll download the Docker Compose profile. Uh, make sure you set the file extension to YAML uh, if it doesn't default to that. Copy this uh, docker compose command here. Uh, next, open up a terminal and change directory to where you saved that docker compose profile. And let's paste that command and bring the stack up. You can also add the dash D option to run in detached state. It's going to take a few minutes just to pull down the various images and start the stack. Once all services are started, you can then open up a browser tab, and navigate to local host. Uh, you probably need to accept the self-signed certificate uh, the first time you visit and then log in with uh, username admin password secret. And you should be presented with the uh, Open Remote Manager uh, user interface. Uh, with the, the, the various tabs uh, available. So this is how the default system looks. So let's uh, look at white labeling it and putting our own styling and branding on this. So let's, let's stop the uh, Docker Compose stack for now. And for this next part, we'll follow the uh, custom deployment guide in the wiki. Let's start by creating the directory structure that we need. Uh, this directory is going to be volume mapped uh, into the uh, into the manager container, which will provide our customization. Let's copy our uh, Geneva grapes uh, image resources into this. Uh, deployment uh, directory structure. Next, let's uh, create the manager underscore config dot JSON file in the app directory. Uh, we can copy and paste the uh, contents for this from directly from the wiki uh, to act as a template. Uh, th this file is, is basically what controls the customization in the uh, manager UI. Let's go ahead and change the title here. Geneva grapes and make sure that the image paths are correct uh, for the image resources that you've uh, provided. Uh, we're also going to change some uh, color styles here just to uh, match our um, company theme. These are CSS variables, uh, so they're in standard hex format. Um, these colors I've obviously prepared earlier, um, but you can use color pickers online, etc. to find uh, suitable colors for your own theme. On the wiki page, you can find information about what the different uh, CSS variable colors uh, refer to in the user interface. And there's also uh, information available for you know other configuration options, which uh, allow you to do per realm styling. So you can have uh, different, completely different styling for each realm in your installation. But we also want to customize the map. Uh, we're going to 
do that by following the working on maps guide in the wiki. Now, our fictional company is based in Switzerland, so we're going to use um, MapTiler to download uh, map data for the Switzerland region. Uh, you know, th this is free for non-commercial use, um, but please be aware that you need to pay if you have commercial uh, use case. Uh, you can consume the, the map data as it is. Uh, if the size is a, an issue for you, then you can uh, extract a, a subset of the Switzerland region, which is what we're uh, going to do here. Um, this is also explained in the uh, in the in the wiki. Uh, we just run a, a Docker container to uh, extract a subset of data from this uh, larger data set. We need to uh, volume map in the uh, the path to um, the 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 larger map data set that we just downloaded, and then we can uh, start the Docker container. And next, we're going to run this uh, this uh, npm install command just to uh, install the dependencies we need. The other bit of information we need is the bounds of the data set that we'd like to extract so we can uh, get that from this uh, useful online tool uh, we we just want the uh, Geneva region you can size this uh, to whatever you need and just copy the uh, the bounds and just uh, keep them here for a second and then we're gonna run this this command within our Docker container, and let's now insert the uh, the bounds that we already uh, found. The format here is important. You need to make sure it's uh, comma separated. And then go ahead and run that. Um, when that finishes, you will have a uh, output .mb tiles file in your volume map directory. Uh, go ahead and rename this uh, map data .mb tiles, and then copy that to uh, your custom deployment directory in the uh, in the map directory. The last thing we need now is uh, a map settings.json file. This uh, customizes the the rendering of the uh, vector map data on the on the front end and we're just going to download the uh, the default uh, map settings json from the uh, the repository uh, as a template let's open up this uh, map settings json file in a text editor and change the bounds to the ones that we uh, found earlier again make a note that you need comma separated values uh, we can also change the center point of the of the map, and also the other map settings, including the uh, initial zoom level, and if we if we want the max and min zoom levels available. So now we've finished with our customizations. The next thing to do is to uh, start the stack with this custom deployment directory. So to do that, we're going to add a volume map to the uh, Docker Compose profile that we downloaded earlier. You can copy and paste this from uh, the wiki guide, add it to the manager service, uh, making sure the indentations match. And the last thing to do is to uh, exit from that uh, Docker container we don't need anymore, and then we can uh, start the uh, Docker Compose profile. We'll give it a project name of Open Remote. And once all the services are started, we can go back to our browser. And when we reload localhost, we should see 
our own company styling has been applied. It's also possible to customize the key cloak um, UI using key cloak themes. Uh, please see the key cloak website for uh, dealing with that. Um, thank you very much for, for watching. And if you have any further questions, then uh, obviously look at our website, uh, get in touch on the forum. Uh, you can also refer to the wiki. Uh, feel free to uh, suggest any improvements that we can make or any other videos you'd like to see in the future.